I can't catch a break. They're doing yard work, construction work. Welcome back. Uh, if you're new, I'm so happy to have you here. If you're not new, do you think people will like me? Welcome back. I hope you had a great week. I have something planned for today. It kind of came to me after I realized that I missed the ColourPop sale. And not a sale, it was like a special, but um, they had Sailor Moon. <laughs> I love Sailor Moon and I missed it and I'm so sad. So I'm going to do my own Sailor Moon inspired look for you guys today. There was actually a bunch of stuff that I got for last time that we didn't use. Um, mainly sparkly stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen Sailor Moon, um, it's an anime. It was in the 90s, dated, very 90s, beautiful, gorgeous. And um, it's about a high school girl in the Japanese version. I think she's called Usagi. Um, I'm just going to use the American version because that's what I grew up with. So Serena is Sailor Moon and she's a magical girl. She gets these powers from the moon. Cosmic moon dust. We're going to make ourselves look sparkly, youthful and 90s. We're not using cream shadow, but Stacy, after I showed her the video, she asked, did I get the shadow insurance? And I did. This is the Too Faced shadow insurance. It's the primer. And hopefully this is going to help keep stuff on my eyeballs. I got my scrunchie and we're all set to go. I don't have my mirror. Oh no. That's useless. Heck to that. Uh, that's not big enough. One second. It's right over there. Okay. I have it. It's fine. I'll try to be careful. Okay. So we're going to start with the shadow insurance. It says it's 24 hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. It won't be the best test today. I mean, I haven't used some of the makeup that we're getting today. Wow, I'm just slapping that on. Guys, that's my eyeball that is actually the worst of the two as far as astigmatism goes. Ugh, it's fine. <laughs> so I haven't done my hair in a middle crease in a hot minute. It's probably been, let's get the makeup. I wanted to do kind of like a purpley, sparkly, shimmery, silvery kind. I didn't want it to go gold because, you know, the moon is sparkly, shimmery, silver. When I was younger, I mean, I wasn't wearing makeup too much actually in the 90s. It was a little bit more early 2000s, but um, I've always been behind the times. So, so we are going to start somewhere. Somewhere. I'll show you what I got first. So what I got today, NYX brand. It's NYX. It's NYX. Okay, so the lighter one that I got is called Shimmer Down. Kind of silver, very fine kind of shimmer, which I like. I don't really like the kind of like big. I don't really like when they get too big like that. I like when they're a little bit smaller. This one's called Foil Play. Uh, a little bit more purpley. So maybe let's start with a base of purple, and the purple is Too Faced. Ta-da! <laughs> Surprise, it's Too Faced. Violet Femme. I don't often see them with just kind of, just the one color. Like, usually I see them in a full palette. They do, I guess, have just individual. <laughs> wow, that's so pretty. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Here, I feel like I'm more comfortable this time around making this video, but I also feel like I still have no idea what I'm doing. Editing was really fun, I have to say. Gone to the zone and just like, I thought it came out good. I thought it was really funny. I hardly remember. It was it was an hour and a half of footage and it could have been shrunk down more, but I don't know. I like watching YouTube as episodic almost. Some some form of entertainment. It's a form of entertainment. And I generally want to sit down. I don't want to have to keep getting up and change the channel. So like, I didn't want to like mess with the continuity too much. Get rid of any of my great jokes. I'm sure you all laughed the entire time. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Let me know how you felt. Just to start, because we're putting other colors on top, remember, so it doesn't like super matter that we get it all on right now, I guess. That's what I'm going with. I did wash my brushes in between. I used a natural kind of water, olive oil, Castile soap, tea tree oil, which actually surprisingly were all things I had. I don't have white sugar right now. I did too much baking and I don't have any sugar. That's also something. My sister said that maybe like you guys might want to watch me bake. First, we have to decide if you like me or not. 
There's a little piece of plastic keeping me from... Release! Release your glitter to me. It's not fake nail friendly, but it's user friendly. Yeah. I want to put you on my eyeballs. It's a much warmer day today than it was last time. So now we're going to... Guess. It, the way that it comes is kind of in a little... It's in its little tub, and then the top just has little holes. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how I'm supposed to go about this. So I can't tell how much is on my brush. Yeah! Oh, it's so sparkly! It doesn't carry quite as much color as I thought it would. So I'm gonna go back afterwards, because I like the shiny inside corner. Because the shiny inside corner really helps to bring to open it all up and make you seem just a little bit peppier, more youthful. Oh, why am I putting it down there? I don't have the necessary components to be putting it under there yet. That might be an issue. We'll figure it out. I'm thinking maybe before I put on this other sparkle, I want to put on a darker purple on the outsides. Normally what I do is I'll do a light on the inside and then I'll do a darker sort of on the outside to try to pull it all together and make the itch is supposed to make your eyes look bigger. This palette, <laughs> it's another Too Faced one. It's Too Faced Country, and I don't use it as much as I should. But they're all kind of sparkly, and as I said, I don't wear as much sparkly. I'm thinking of using, can I point at it? This one, this, this one maybe. Uh, Nashville. So we're gonna use Nashville, I'm gonna put that on the outer corners to give a little bit of depth. Because if we just paint my face the color of my face, then we're not gonna get very far at all. And this is something too, we gotta be bigger. I just plucked my eyebrows, I'm sorry. The coloration there. Oh, I'm liking. It's like deep and it's, and it's very celestial. What's happening? I'm enjoying what's happening. It's, that wasn't a bad what's happening, that was an actually a good what's happening. Oh, me word. No, <laughs> also I'm wearing these cute earrings. My sister made me, nah, maybe in the 90s. My sister and I were pen pals when I was younger. We're gonna put this one on. I'm scared because it's got a much bigger hole. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put some on here. Powder. This one says cream pigment. It's not a cream. It's a powder. It's a loose powder. Oh, okay. Naming conventions, whatever. So we're pen pals and it was great because she is a creative person and, and she wanted to promote that in me so she would buy me a lot of sketchbooks and pens and a lot of it I'm sorry Stacy I didn't use I tried to use it but like that's like trying to tell a violinist to play the cello like there's similarities but you hold it different I appreciated so much and a lot of it I really loved using but some of it I just didn't know how to use like it was the devil you know or the devil you don't and I stuck with the devil I knew which was pencil <laughs> She just really liked that I liked art and she wanted to promote it. And so I would draw something, she would give me a prompt for it. It would be like spring or it'd be like um, colors that you want to use. I'm also bad at colors. What are we thinking about the eyes? Do we want to do, should have got like one of those gel like silver liners? That would have been so cool. I have already spent so much money. So I guess what we're gonna have to be stuck with is doing the black. I'm gonna put my lashes on first just to add some more glam. And you're gonna have to bear with me. It's just gonna take a second. I'll be right back. I feel like a child when I do my liner, and that's pretty accurate. <laughs> I mean, appropriate for a 90s video, because I was a child. We're going to do um, <laughs> this mascara again um, that I didn't even mention last time. It's called Beauty Concepts Drama Lash. I really did get it at Marshall's, so I'm not sure if it's good or bad. Don't worry. I'm sorry, my chair is still squeaky. I'm feeling a bit self-conscious about right up here, and I don't really know what to do with it. So I'm, for right now, I'm just going to put a color that's akin to my skin onto it. Let's do a little bit of this. It's just making me feel better about the fact that I just plucked my eyebrows. So my sister and I were pen pals um, when I was in elementary school, junior high, a little bit into high school. She would also send me really great, awesome care packages in college. After I do that, I always like to put a little bit of lotion on to make sure that I'm not going to get immediately like razor burn, you know? 
protect your skin as much as you can, especially with all we're putting on it. We want to make sure that it doesn't fight back. Uh, as I was saying, so you've seen our pen pals, there would be uh, a prompt. And I forget what the prompt was for these. You're just cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, my hair is in the way. Which is fine, we have to get it out of the way anyway, because next we're on to foundation. We're gonna do a different sh shape, I think, maybe. But it's all going to be the same products, the NYX hydration stuff. Just go, just go. Just go down the stairs, go for your run. The primer, the Hydro Touch, NYX. Matches my shirt. And then we're going to use the ColourPop foundation. As I said, I did, I did, I did wash my brushes. This one decided it didn't care. I tried. We're only doing one squirt of the foundation this time, and we'll see how that goes. So my sister's the one who really got me a lot into makeup, into art. She got me a lot into a lot of the musicians that I like. Maybe we shouldn't have done the bottom lashes first. I had the idea of the Sailor Moon thing because I was so sad that I missed that promotion. Anyone who got that promotion, you're a lucky, lucky duck. And I wish, in some small part, that I were you. I like Sailor Moon. I think she's fun. It's a children's show. If you know much about anime, you might know that they have a tendency to jeopardize the integrity of the original show by making it something American audiences aren't afraid to let their children watch. Oh my god, think of the children. We can't let them experience life. We can't let them see that sometimes people like people of the same gender or like to dress like the other gender because there's a lot of that happening in the original Japanese Sailor Moon, which I have not watched. Wow, why did no one tell me that I didn't even try to blend that in? It sort of feels like it doesn't, it doesn't cover as much, but that's because we only use one pump. So I have the Too Faced No Makeup Makeup. We're not using this today, but we are using this today. You can tell it's a little worse for wear. It's a palette for your face. Isn't that cool? Like, look at that. Like, what? Like, that's cool. And then it has the same thing. It's like, it's cool, right? That's rad. That's pretty rad. That's pretty awesome. Like, that's cool. Kind of don't like this stuff because it's, it's all sparkly. I don't want it to be sparkly. We're going for Magic Girl Girls. And Magical Girls wake up naturally beautiful, so we're going to do the wake up makeup. So we want to start with some bronzing around and on the nose. All right, we're going to do this one. We're following this. You can see it. Follow along at home, kids. So number one is concealer, of course. Oh, I liked how it looked me looked me look. And it's the color pop. Beautiful. And it says to do it only on the inner corners. God, the soothing sounds of an air compressor outside going on every day for weeks. Oh, and my eyelashes are gone again, but it's okay. We'll put the fake eyelashes on like later. Also something about this makeup it, it, it feels a bit warm, and, and I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. I feel like makeup shouldn't do that. <laughs> you know when you put on a mask and you start to feel it move your face kind of? It's sort of like that. Also, it doesn't really say when you're supposed to blend, so I'm guessing we'll do it like last time. Bronzer and concealer, and then blend, and then do the, then do the blush. Uh, bleep, 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 bleep. uh, so this says to sort of go around the face, uh, under, but it looks like a lot lower than last time. And then here, dark in the front of the chin. It also says middle of the nose. So let's start with that. That might be too much. We'll find out in post. This is not going well, which is unsurprising, considering this is my second time using this makeup. We're doing an even more slapdash job than last time. We got that, we get that, we got that, we get that, and now, oh, I don't want to do it, because I, I feel like that's not what I'm supposed to be. Aren't you? Oh. Uh, all the way up? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Is this what we're supposed to look like? Is it? Is that? I might have gone too far down. Oh no. Oh, I feel like I did this a little wrong. It's fine. It looks like more like, yeah. And we're like, oh, this time was right. All right, cool. So that looks dumb. Just buff. We know the buffing one now. So I'm gonna hold off on the luminizer and the blush for right now because those are obviously things that you don't want to be as, uh, do we want? Contour. All right, 
Um, but let's start with this so we can troubleshoot it a bit. Ah, if I wanted to, for mm, sure, do this. Getting all too big for my breeches. I don't even remember. It's like I never did makeup before. You saw me do makeup before. We got this. Oh no, I just drew over my line. Oh my word. It's just like drawing, it's just like painting. It's just that you're painting your face. Isn't that cool? It's war paint. You ready for the day? No, I don't have my war paint on yet. Let me put my war paint on. There, it was the easy side, okay? Once we put the lashes on, it kind of gets swallowed anyway, so. You doing all right, kid? You doing all right, kid? All right. That's all it said to do for the brightener. Maybe I'll use the luminizer from the actual, um, Oh, I do have an equivalent. I have an equivalent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry. I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing and you'll know too because hopefully you'll stick around. If you don't stick around, that's fine. You probably have things to do. This is probably going to be another long video. Let me know if you don't like it, that it's long because I like, oh, I like it long. Like Game Grumps is a big one. They're one that I watch a lot of. I haven't watched too much of them um, in the past week because I've been busy doing this. I feel like we've done as much as the contour needs to be done. And now we need to buff it. I didn't even get this. Look at that. Can you get it for me? I can't see it. Can you just take, can you take this? I need, I need you to do it. I also got, um, maybe this will help. I also got these things uh, that I've never used before and I don't know how you're supposed to use them. Is that how you, I don't like this. I don't like this, we're using the buffing brush. What is this meant for? This is not, I don't look waked up. I don't look woke up. I look like I got into a row with some spray tan. I just want to clean less brushes, guys. It was hard. They didn't want to clean. Oh, okay. The forehead particularly is giving me some guff. Why did it want me to do the brown in the middle? What exactly does that achieve? What's happening? Yes, I want, oh, freaking. I had to go out and buy scrunchies for this. You can tell in my hairline how I'm not this color. It's definitely much more of a shape. I'm still hating this. Cause like, why did it make me put so much dark on, on my nose? Like of them, this is the one that has the darkest line in the middle. The one at the bottom doesn't have it at all. And then these two, it's like, this one, much more conservative. This one, and I don't like it. I'm sorry, we're not, we're not keeping it completely. We're, 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 we're changing it a little bit. This is hard. I know it's hard. Too dark. Like I understand the point is, is, is body modification in its own way, but it's too dark. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. That's fine. It's my face. She's my babe. She fixes the mistakes for me. I've still got a little bit of a line up here that I'm not digging, but I'm also having a hard time getting rid of it. So let's just move on. This little piece of paper says that we need to do the luminizer. This is something I got last time and completely forgot about. Another NYX product and it's a holographic halo. It says it's a finishing powder. I'm going to use it as a highlighter. It's spackly and also is being kept from me. How do we open? Please to open. You're doing me a disservice here. I don't have tools. I don't have tools to help me in this situation. Please to open. Yeah! It's, op it's, it's, op it's opening. It's opening. We're fine. Oh! We're not fine anymore, but we're fine. Oh, well, I used all my brushes. Can we use this one? How did I use all my brushes? It's going on the same place where it's been on before. Super, super fluffy. You can see possibly all the particles. I might have gotten way too much because I was having too much fun. This C right here, I put too much on, but that's fine. I like it. We're going off the rails. I forgot. We're supposed to be following this thing. Does it say to put? Yeah, it says to put stuff there. We're just a step ahead. One step ahead of the bread man. It also wants you to get the luminizer in some smaller parts than what that big brush wants to do. It wants stuff to get. Here. Oh, and it also wants me to get here so we can hide the jankiness. We just go buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. Buff your body. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Did I really know what I was saying to begin with? So speaking of Sailor Moon, there's also another YouTuber that I like that I don't think she really uploads as much anymore because I haven't seen much by her. Um, and I have sort of been looking because um, she does some funny makeup videos that are kind of like what I'm doing right now. Luminizer also goes on the nose and then a little heart right there. Why do I keep putting so much on my brush? I'm not, mm, okay. Way, way, way too much on. Way, way, way too much on. Fix our errors. Yeah, we did it. We fixed our errors. Happy little trees. So Sailor J is this uh, YouTuber who she does, she does a lot of makeup stuff. She does much shorter videos. Kind of quick snappy. Eee, we're having fun. Next thing is the cream blush. 
they're kind of aged weird. <laughs> I used it a couple of times and now it's got like this weird darkness to it and I'm just, I, I'm gonna use this other one. So this other one is a Stila palette that I've been using this whole time for my mirror and the colors inside are nice, but I'm just going to use the this and it wants it just to be right, like a little bit lower than perhaps I normally would start or is it the same? I don't know. It's weird when you're following this as opposed to like just following your instinct kind of thing. We look so different than we did last time and it's just astounding. A little bit more. You know, we're going for Sailor Moon here. So Sailor J does some like kind of bumbling kind of uh, makeup tutorial things as well and she seems pretty cool so shout out to Sailor J. Girl if you're still around and if you're not making videos props to you for doing whatever else you're doing because you gotta do you man. You don't want to overwork yourself. You feel maybe you're dragon in your own personal life because that's what matters guys. Let's um, how about, how about we just use the white sparkly kind of stuff and that'll brighten it. We'll, we'll put the white sparkly back in the middle and then we'll also do the white sparkly. I'm honestly con confused about how the heck you're supposed to use this because it's like, it's a powder. So you like, sh it's like, how do I get it out? So I don't like wearing sparkles every day because they get everywhere. I'm big on like outfit matching the makeup, matching, you know, the vibe of everything. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have stuff that like sparkles really lend themselves well to. Nor that I really care to create an atmosphere for my wardrobe where sparkles become a main, a main staple. It's just not, it's not my, my cup of tea. Let's actually use um, my favorite janky brush, which I didn't actually wash last time because I was afraid of it breaking and going down the sink. I did glue it. We're good. We're cooking with gas. It's hard. It's hard <laughs> to work with because you have to bring this down into here. So as we're bringing it in, as we're bringing ourselves to a gentle close, I suppose. Oh, I like how cute it's looking. Whoa, I didn't do my eyebrows. Oh no. I can do this almost in my sleep. My eyebrows. Lost in the struggle bus. Let them know you love them too. Even though I do reshape you because you like to get a lot more south than I'd like you to be. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we got lips, lashes, and hair because we need to use the scrunchie. The scrunchie must be used. So first we're going to use lashes and I did get new lashes because just, I don't know why, but this shape of these screamed anime character. Whoop! Screamed anime character to me. Tell me, am I wrong? Am I wrong? So we're going to do that. Um, I need to get my tweezers. Hello, did I put you up here or did I move you down there? Oh no, did I already grab them? Did I already grab them? Reveal yourself to me. I have the glue, I have the lashes. Good, we need the third part. We need the tweezers. I have the curlers. Okay, so there was a fourth part. We need the fourth part, which is the tweezers. Ha ha, ah. Wonderful. So I've got so much crap. Let's do these lashes. We're almost done. Again, we're almost done. So as we start to wrap up, I just sort of want to know, you know, a little bit about how you're feeling about this, about the form of it, if you're having any fun at all or if you just like watching me frantically live my life. Thank you so much to my friend J Mark. We went to college together. He has his own podcast, which is um, Tabletop for the End of the World. It's great because it's a story within a story. It's like a post-apocalyptic group of people who are just discovering D&D. So it's like they're kind of figuring out the game as there's also the um, the other part of the story of like the post-apocalyptic stuff. I haven't listened to too many episodes because I'm awful. There's tons of episodes and it's so much fun. It really is so much fun. But um, I have a hard time listening to something and then not also doing something. And it's something that I really want to listen to and like really absorb. So it needs to happen like um, I need to start a, a knitting project or something so I can put it on while I'm knitting. Um, last time it said to measure them, which I sort of did off camera. And I guess you're supposed to measure them and cut them down, which makes a lot of sense, you know. Do you go like all the way to the inner corner? I'm just gonna put glue on and hope for the best. This is mega old glue that I'm using. I should have used the glue that I had last time. Did it help? Are we better? Is the glue nicer now? Yeah, it's nicer now. It's less gross. Tweezers. Four eyelashes. Tweezers aren't helping. Nothing is helping. I'm even trying to start on my eye that cooperates. Ah! Did I do it? Hello? I feel like these ones are a lot bigger than the ones I had last time. I also feel like I might not be putting them in enough. Because like how far in the inner corner do they go? They go like all the way? Is it up to your discretion? Don't leave things up to my discretion. Please give me very well detailed instructions. Okay, maybe these weren't the best lashes to choose. They're a lot. <laughs> oh man, they're huge. 
I just want to see what it will look like with mascara on the bottom. The dulcet sounds of the air compressor as she purrs outside the window. Maybe she just needs a little bit of attention and loving and we'll figure it out. Okay, next lash, next lash. Let's just do it before we chicken out. Don't like add gray hairs in here. I don't need more. I feel like I'm, maybe I'm just not letting the glue dry long enough. Cause I'm like putting it on and immediately trying to get it on my face. Let's do. Oh, the sound of silence. Honestly, they've been working on this house. It's like across the street and one over from mine. And they've been working on it for months and it's just always noise, always noise, like shingles falling. It's just like, I just wanted to be quiet on my day off, please. <laughs> okay, I almost lost my tweezers again. Be gentle, yet firm. Stomach, gosh, give it a rest. Okay. I mean, like they're, they're in a better spot than they were last time, I think. They do look very different. They're like a very different kind of, no, we're losing light. No, I thought I was doing so much better this time. I thought I was, I thought I was being faster. I don't know. Things take time. Okay, these do not need any curl. These do not need any help. They're already huge. Sunlight, come back. This is like the sunniest day it's been. And like, I did get to go outside. I rode my motorcycle outside. I got to, I went outside. Don't worry, it's a gorgeous day. I went outside. But I had to shoot a video because it's my day off. Ha, <laughs> microphone. Okay, so things are officially going downhill. So let's do the lipstick and the hair. I usually only do lipstick. I usually never do gloss, but the 90s is gloss. Uh, so I got NYX Butter Gloss. But when I think of anime school girls, they always have like those, they're just, it's, it's, it's a youthful color. Oh, it's got a lot of color. And it's not too tacky either. Glosses I'm less of a fan because they tend to come off as soon as you eat or drink something. And I'm a messy eater, so there's that. How do we think we're looking? Oh, I think she's cute. I think she's cute. She probably didn't blend this in enough. Get it done! And I hope you're liking how you look too, whether you're playing along at home or just enjoying the ride. So now the hair! Oh, the hair! I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna do little buns. Because if anyone has seen Sailor Moon, she has the buns. She's meatball head. And so we're going to try to be meatball head, but with scrunchies. So this is what I've done to my hair, is I've made it full. Look at that. Is it looking gorgeous or what? Okay. Maybe we can get at least most of it up. Would it work? There. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> This side is the same rockin' what on earth is going on. This is also a daily struggle. I don't know if you've ever tried to make something symmetrical before, especially on top of your head. It's not the easiest thing. Eee! There we go! St uh... No. It doesn't want to be forward. It wants to go back on my head, because that's where all my cowlicks are. Um, one more try and then we're going to have to say we're done. This one feels like it's here, so it's gotta be here. Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna, it's gonna end up too far forward. Watch. You know what? That's the best one yet. I also want to pull a little bit of this forward. I love it. Even though it's janky and there's certainly stuff going on in the back that we're just going to not, um, address. <laughs> oh my god guys okay so i love how i look i'm actually really enjoying a lot about this right now kind of fun i think like you're not getting a good angle of it hello is this better can you see it better but anyway guys i am so glad again that you hung out with me and we had fun making ourselves look like a 90s pop magical princess namely Sailor Moon. If anyone has that Sailor Moon palette or anyone knows how I'll like where or how to get it, please let me know because I want it. So thanks again for joining me. I feel like a princess. I feel like a magical princess. My eyelashes, surprisingly, amazingly, are at least better than they were. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, I love it. I love it and I love doing this with you guys. I love that you're joining me and I hope that uh, just watching me flounder is um, at least making you 
just to have a nicer day, just, you know, something to laugh at during the day. We all need that. And I just love being the person to help make people laugh. I'm always there to help you, like, feel better about yourself. If you need a hand, just, just give me a shout out. People should want to see each other succeed. We can all succeed. It's not like I, I have to succeed more than you. We can all support each other. You don't have to put other people down for you to be able to go up. Like, you don't have to be successful to be happy because happiness is its own success. You're the only person who is with you all the time and you are the one who's going to be having to take care of yourself when you go down. It's really important to learn how to take care of yourself when things go down. How to like help pick yourself back up. If me becoming a magical princess helps, helps anyone in any small way, I'm so happy and I'll become a magical princess anytime. I'll come over your house, I'll bring, you don't even want to see what um, my makeup looks like, there's so much. And now I have to wash my brushes again. It's fine. We'll get through it. I've had so much fun. I hope that you've had fun and we're going to do this again. I'll see you again sometime soon in the future. So have a good one and uh, until next time just try to keep smiling and become a little magical princess yourself. Put a little magical princess into each step of your day and you'll have a great time. All right this is it. Okay bye.